Hey guys, as part of my Explore Your World thing, I went to one of my favorite places, the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Now, ever since I was a little kid, I loved this place. It's got the dinosaurs and the models, and as anybody that's ever been there will remember, the blue whale. But how exactly did this museum get a 94-foot floating whale? Well, first off, it's not real. It's a statue, and it's not the first blue whale statue the museum ever had. An earlier one was made in 1908, and it was 76 feet long, but eventually it was deemed unsalvageable because it was made out of wood and paper mache, kind of like the Mets old apple at Shea Stadium. A new one was planned in 1959, but as far as design goes, they were kind of winging it because nobody had really seen a blue whale up close and personal. It was up to a man named Richard Von Gelder to come up with a plan. Now the plan had to have the whale elevated like he was going to dive, but Gelder wasn't allowed to use strings to hang it from the ceiling. Some of the ideas he rejected. Make it a giant balloon and fill it up with helium. Put a whale model on a stick. Ah, just slap it up on the wall like a 90 foot sconce. He even joked that they should make it look like it had been beached and died, and to his horror, management loved the relatively cheap idea. Felder then had to trick museum donors into thinking that they were also going to pump in dead whale smell in in order to get the idea rejected. Eventually, to get around the string rule, they just decided to attach it to the ceiling itself. Now, originally the model was only supposed to weigh four tons, but when it was delivered and assembled, it was closer to 10. Now, that's still only a fraction of the real weight of a blue whale, about 170 tons, but still, that's really heavy to be hanging on the ceiling over people. They trimmed it off as much as they could and attached it to the ceiling where it promptly fell on everyone and they all died and no actually was the only part of the process in which nothing went wrong. It was open to the public in 1969 and has been loved ever since. In the early 2000s it did have some work done but that's because we now know more about blue whales than when the guesstimation model was made. The blowhole was moved to the right place, the jaw was redone and for the first time in 34 years the whale was was given an anus. Ugh, I'd hate to have been there when you pop that sucker open. The whale has become a New York City icon. No trip is complete without it. Little kids can even have sleepovers under it and apparently, like the whale, just watch TV instead of checking out all the other cool stuff. And if you want to see the whale, you can for free! Kind of. This brings up an interesting debate. Should museums charge admission? Now the American Museum of Natural History has a suggested donation of $19, but in actuality you can just go to the front desk and ask for a pass for free. So what should you do? On one hand, museum upkeep ain't cheap, and this one sits on some of the most valuable real estate in the world. On the other hand, part of the purpose of a museum is to preserve knowledge and culture, and that's for everybody, not just the people that can afford $50 to get their entire family in the door, and that's before the necessary purchase of astronaut ice cream. Personally, I say you should pay full price at least once, and then maybe the next time you go, shell out a buck or two per hour you think you'll be there. Let me know what you think, and let's sum it up. Number one, museum management will gladly scar children for life if it saves them a couple of bucks. Number two, while a blue whale can hold its breath for 20 minutes, it apparently can hold something else for 34 years. Number three, we've been calling it the whale and apparently that's its nickname. Unless, of course, you're the one that has to clean it, in which case I've been told it's called the goddamn whale. If you want, I put a link to the whole story by Matt Soniak down in the description. You should check it out. It's awesome. Me, I gotta run. I'm debating doing this giant video project, and if I do do it, <laughs> do do. It'll begin sometime next week. Until then, be safe, and I'll see you next time.